welcome back to my channel. I'm super grateful that you are here as per always. I hope you are having a beautiful day today. I'm super excited to share this video with you. As you already know, it's all about breakfast. And I just wanna say breakfast is breaking your fast. You can have whatever the hell you desire for breakfast for breakfast. It can be sweet, it can be savory, it doesn't have to be oatmeal. And in fact, I only had oatmeal one time this week and it wasn't even normal oatmeal, it wasn't even hot oatmeal, okay? as I also like to call it porridge. Make fun of me as you will, but it's called porridge as well. I just wanna say that because you can have whatever you desire at any point in the day, and whenever you desire to eat it as well, your breakfast doesn't have to be at 8 a.m. It doesn't have to be at 9 a.m. It doesn't have to even be in the morning. You can have breakfast at one o'clock in the afternoon. Again, it is just breaking your fast. Do what your body needs and every day can be different. You don't have to eat breakfast at the same time every single day. You can have breakfast whenever you desire to eat, okay? So as time goes on and you are able to listen to your body a little bit more and be able to tell the cues, what food makes you feel bad, what makes you feel good, what makes you thrive and feel lively, what maybe makes you a little more tired. So as time goes on and you put more awareness into your body, you will be able to find that nice balance for your everyday life. Anyways, enough of me blabbering. Let's get on to the food, okay? Hey, what? So for breakfast number one, I was feeling something a little more savory. So I started off by chopping up half of an onion with some orange and red peppers as well. The plan here was to make a chick pea omelet, which turned more into chickpea scramble, but honestly, not gonna lie, the flavor was just so good, I'm not even mad about it. Anyways, after I chopped up all of my veggies, I added them to a frying pan, and I let the onions and peppers kinda saute for a couple minutes before throwing in the mushrooms and the garlic. I then salted it, peppered it, seasoned it with some basil and oregano and some chili flakes. We got all the spices in here because we love flavor. We then added some chickpea flour to our bowl along with some water and just adjusted the measurements as we went until we got the desired texture. I'm still not a professional working with chickpea flour, but I always tend to make it work for me in some sort of capacity. Anyways, so I threw in some chopped up sun-dried tomatoes, some spinach, and then I threw the chickpea mixture over top of all of the veggies and then realized that it would be impossible to flip that and I added way too many vegetables and all the things. That is why it turned into scramble. But again, not mad at it. Topped it with some green onions, some sesame seeds, and just a little bit of drizzle of balsamic vinegar and that was breakfast number one. So on day number two, I decided to start to show you guys what I'm having in the morning to drink as well. So day number one, I had a matcha. Day number two, I'm having a coffee. It's just such a ritual for me now to make something warm and cozy to drink in the morning. And it just is such a nice way to start my day, relax and calm. And then I was feeling something a little more crunchy. So I decided to make some granola. However, I do wanna say, I did not check my ingredients before I started making this because I realized midway through throwing this all together that I did not have any liquid sweetener in the house, which was such a disappointment. So this granola definitely did not turn out as good as I was hoping for. The full recipe will be linked down below. However, I'm going to write it out in the way that I would have made it, not the way that I'm making it right now. And then I made a whole other big mistake and decided to throw in some goji berries at the end. Yeah, don't do that because they burnt to a crisp. And I did not even cook this granola as long as I should have or would have liked to because I could smell the goji berries burning to a crisp. They were just way too dry to be baked in the oven for a long time. So warning, do not put goji berries in your granola unless they're like, hydrated or something. Mine were like really dry. Anyways, enough about goji berries and granola. It turned out decent, definitely edible after I picked out the goji berries. I had it with half of a mango, a banana, and some coconut yogurt as well. Although all the struggles, it was a great breakfast. So on day number three, I decided to make some overnight oats, quote unquote, because they're not being left overnight. 
they're just being left for like an hour or so. Anyways, I made a very similar version of this type of oatmeal, but with raspberries, not blueberries. And I actually really liked this one more. I think it's just because I absolutely love blueberries. However, I blended one banana, blueberries, ashwagandha, protein powder, water, and some plant milk and then threw it on top of some oatmeal. I had some leftover blended mixture, so I just enjoyed that as a smoothie while my milk was warming up for my matcha. So I had a matcha, but I ended up throwing in this blend from Four Sigmatic that has lion's mane mushroom in it, which is like so good. It has a little bit of sweetness in it, I'm pretty sure, because I added just a touch of agave to my matcha and it was still very, very sweet. And I think it's because of the Four Sigmatic blend that I added. I'll link the blend down below because I actually really do enjoy it. Anyways, after my oats sat in the fridge for about an hour, I added them to a bowl along with some fresh blueberries, some coconut chips, and some more coconut yogurt. I then decided my pineapple is like ready to go and it needs a friend. It needs a friend to eat it. So I decided to be that friend. I feel like I cut pineapple a little bit weirder than most people. So I cut off the top and then I cut off all of the sides, cut off the bottom and then I quarter it. And then I get my knife right under the rind and just like glide it against it like as if i was like deboning a fish i know there's a lot of vegans watching this but i'm sure you know what i'm talking about anyways so pineapple and some overnight oats quote unquote for breakfast For day number four, I decided to open that big, beautiful watermelon and oh my goodness, I'm literally still dreaming about it to this day because it was literally perfect. So I chopped up a little less than half of it and I had a friend over and we just munched on that while I was throwing together some other things for breakfast. So right now I'm just whipping up an avocado mixture for avocado toast. So two whole big avocados, some salt, some lime juice, some red onion, and then some pickled jalapenos that I just chopped up pretty finely. Toasted up some bread, added my avocado mixture on top, and then topped it with some cucumbers and some greens as well. So the two slices are for him and the one slice is for me. And I had some milky water mixture brewing on the stove. That sounds so weird when I'm saying that right now, but it's true, that's how I make my matcha, a little bit of milk, a little bit of water and then I threw my matcha and some maple syrup into the mugs and then frothed up the milk divided it into two even cups and that was our breakfast We're starting today with a big old matcha and oh my goodness, my foaming skills were just like on point today. Like I just had to keep on like slurping some foam, adding more, slurping some foam, adding more. And I'm not even mad about it because a nice, foam on a matcha tea, it just hits different. It slaps, it's so good. Ugh. Anyways, we chopped up some more watermelon. We added some leftover pineapples, some blueberries, and then we're just making a super simple like protein shake thing. So half of a banana, some oat milk, a lot of hemp seeds, and then a package of instant coffee and some protein powder and some ashwagandha as well. And it was just like a nice little shake to start the morning with my fruit. So I started my day with a matcha, as you just saw, and I've made it the exact same way as I normally make it. I've showed you guys like a million times and I feel like it's just gonna get boring after a while. However, I do wanna say, since I changed the batteries in my frother, my mornings have got like 5% better just because of the foam on my drink. I don't wanna give a frothy drink too much credit to like a good morning, but it definitely helps. Anyways, I chopped up a whole potato and seasoned it with some lemon infused olive oil, some salt, some pepper, some chili flakes, some garlic powder, and some onion powder as well. And then I whisked together some chickpea flour with some water and some other seasonings too. And that's gonna be like a wrap. So we are making a chickpea wrap and we're gonna 
do what we're doing right now spread some a nice cream dip on it top it with some sriracha some red onion some red pepper green onion and a whole crap ton of greens because i love them some sauerkraut and then some salsa as well just because i had it laying there and it was calling my name so i threw some salsa on there once the potatoes were all cooked, I added some apple cider vinegar to them and I love vinegar on potatoes. I don't know about you. I don't know if you guys are ketchup people or vinegar people. I'm a vinegar person. I'm a weirdo. As I've already professed, I have an addiction to lime. So I just have an addiction to acidity, I think. I don't know what's up with me, but that's me. I'm thinking we could I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button because it really does help me grow and I truly appreciate it so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Remember to stay hydrated, eat your greens, tell someone that you love them, tell yourself you love yourself, stay true to yourself, and I will see you again soon for lots more content coming your way. Mwah!